BMW goes on the offensive, Tesla wins a quality award, and we have some production delays for certain configurations. Here are your Tesla tidbits for August 8th, 2016. Teslarati brings us a little something that BMW snuck out onto the internet without much fanfare. It seems they're going the same route as Nissan did with their attack ads for the Leaf, pushing their already here car versus Model 3. For me, this is hilariously desperate. If you're touting your product simply because it's here and not based on its merit, you've admitted defeat already. If you want to see a picture of a car company that knows the big kid is about to punch them and eat their lunch, check out the link in the show description to see the videos as well as Teslarati's opinion on the matter. Consumer research company Strategic Vision has announced the winners of its Total Quality Index Awards for the auto industry, and Tesla has again come out on top for the second time in the past three years. The Model S was announced as the highest quality vehicle for the entire auto industry, having overcome its quality issues since initial release to become a very reliable machine. From the announcement, quote, The Tesla Model S was again rated as the highest quality vehicle in the entire industry. The electric performance car consistently reinforces the fact that, according to consumers, Quality is far more than a simply a lack of problems. The Model S does have its share of minor issues, but the innovation and excitement of the product overpowers any lasting negative effects regarding those issues, end quote. And then later, according to Carl Miller, director of marketing at Strategic Vision, quote, even the way Tesla fixes problems often turns a product drawback into a benefit. To be able to fix problems and add features through a software download overnight instead of a trip to the dealer is a powerful tool. In many cases, it actually enhances their confidence in the product more than if the problem had never existed in the first place, end quote. Lastly, growing reports and confirmation from Reddit have found that it seems we have some sort of a production hiccup if you're a fan of the next-gen gray seats. Users selecting the gray next gens as an option have seen their estimated delivery date spike into January next year after selecting the option. Now, this isn't saying that Tesla won't resolve the issue and things can get back on track, but I thought I'd throw this out as a public service announcement for those of you out there considering an order that you may be waiting a bit longer than you'd hoped. Check out the show description for links to the full stories from the show. If you find some value in the show, please consider supporting the podcast at patreon.com slash Tibbets. Any and all support goes directly to my Model 3 fund, and I would very much appreciate it. Thanks, as usual, to my super patron, John Waltower, for his support. If you have no spare change, though, no worries. You can still show support without spending a dime through positive reviews, likes, and subscriptions on services like YouTube, iTunes, and Google Play, which is very important, as well as by spreading word of the show to other Tesla lovers. If you have questions or feedback for me, you can hit me up by email, messaging podcast at teslatibbets.com, or on Twitter at Tesla Tidbits. That's it for today. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.